All right, we're back with next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. And we're against Scotty as Sylvanas. Okay. Well, this guy banned three hunters, Boxer, and Cali, so I had to ban all the mages plus AMC because, you know, obviously AMC is worse than Scotty, according to, uh, according to the great people. All right. Now, this is actually good. Uh, this will... This... this I think I think people need to see how strong Scotty is and then if we get a win against her it'll be super hype so I am gonna try my best I am gonna play a lot safer than I usually do because Scotty is terrifying I'm gonna be what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place all my flowers at the start as fast as I can because we're pretty much just gonna be abusing the the fact that I can get infinite mana and healing off of that we can't like fight fighter until she's lowish health or unless she uh unless we have our evolved hunter's blessing i can like throw an auto and stuff out though i might actually get my three if she aggresses here i might try and pull her into tower she's getting pretty close this might hold on hold on oh are you kidding me well that's bad now my clear is worse because i didn't double upgrade my one missed it by a hair All right, she already cleared the wave. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, at least we get two chances at Sylvanas. Like, I would, I would personally prefer to ban a uh, Scotty over AMC, but out of my other bans, uh, I don't know. Scotty's about as bad as all. Did I steal the red buff? Oh, thank God. Yes. Is she letting me take it too? Quickly, take it and run. Okay, now with the red buff, we can actually fight her, because that increases our damage by, or our power by 20%. Gives us a lot, quite a bit of extra damage early game. Okay. Oh, she's looking a little low. If I can get in range of a pull, pull through wall maybe, perhaps. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, she got away with no health. Oh, she went Warrior's Blessing. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That would explain why I didn't get one shot earlier. Okay. The important thing is we have the early game. We are doing a lot better than I had anticipated. Okay, we are going to take this blue buff. We'll be have two buffs above above her. And then we will... I'm, I don't think... I don't know. It depends on what item she comes back with. I think that was her tier two, yeah, tier two transcendence. So she's not rushing boots, meaning I don't have to rush boots, and I can rush my Bancrofts. Okay, good, good, good. Also, next time we play Terra, I'll try the Bancroft star. I know it's not as strong, just because of uh, how easy her abilities are to dodge and how long her cooldowns are, and she needs that tank versatility. But I'll I'll try it. Okay. With Sylvanas, I know exactly what to do. Okay. Okay. My one's not up. I can't kill her anyways, even with my alt. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Our red buff's about to run out. Okay, if we get a pull here, she should be dead. Like she has Aegis, but as long as I don't Aegis her while she has, she has, she's using Aegis. Like I mean, as long as I don't use my one as while she's using Aegis, we'll be fine. Try to kill the dog. That way she can't ult, or that way her ult would be less effective. Okay. There we go. Yep. I didn't. If I if if let's say I pulled her and she immediately popped Aegis, I would have just ran away. Perhaps ulted just so she could she couldn't chase. But because I was able to land that one, um, without her using Aegis and the ult, of course, you know she can only immune so much of the ult. It, it was just very good. We are playing more aggressive than I said at the start, and the reason for that is because we got that red buff early, got that blue buff, got the got a stronger lead early. I gotta put in a big and because 
the warrior's blessing sucks for me because I'm doing less damage, but it also means I'm not getting one shot. So I don't have to be as wary of because pretty much when Scotty hits her one, her auto attacks do so much. And I think if I remember correctly, after Scotty uses her one, Calder's auto attack damage is doubled. Please let me take this again. No. And what that pretty much means, considering Calder's damage maxed is like 130% of Scotty's base attack damage, and you double that to be 260% of Scotty's base attack damage, that's not a good time. It's not a good time at all. Oh, that stops me being moved. That's weird. Most abilities don't get stopped being moved. Like Anubis and Kraken. She is about to finish her transcendence, but she's gonna miss out on a lot of minions. That's okay. Is her blue buff up? It is not up. Okay, we will go for our blue buff. Hmm. Oh, am I not attacking the buff? <laughs> that was slightly in the wall. Yeah, I, I didn't get to explain last time in my Sylvanas video. Uh, the last kill in the edited Sylvanas video, I got a kill over the wall. And you can't shoot autos over the wall with Sylvanas, but if you shoot at the ground and then flick your camera, you can shoot autos over the wall. It's a, it's a weird trick that almost never helps you out, but I got a kill in that video because of it. So I kind of slow mode it and put the Sylvanas auto over the wall, and I hoped you guys understood how I did it. But just in case you didn't. That's how that happened. That's why it was such, such a hype kill. Oh, okay. She's full health. I'm half health. Need backup. Use a potion. A lot of times if I'm about to recall, I don't like using my potions. A lot of people will be like, why don't you use your potions? It's because it's like right there, right? It's like I knew I was going to recall after that wave. So that potion didn't really help me at all, you know? Whereas if I'm planning on staying for a long, long, long time, I'm going to want to use my potion more. I got the tier 1 defense, but I'm not sure. I might rush Demonic uh, instead. I just needed that 20 protections for now. 20 protections helps out quite a bit. It depends on how much gold I have when I back. This time we might try and stay a little bit longer if we can. Okay. There she is. I get a pull. Oh, I missed because I tried to use my two first. That's fine. I, there was no kill potential there. Just just poke potential. And if she's back anyways, it doesn't matter. Now here's the thing that sucks about Guardians. Let's say the roles was were switched and I was Scotty and she was Savannah's. If Sylvanas back to there, and I was in, I was Scotty in the position I was in, I could have went for Bull Demon and taken it easily, right? So I could have punished that back where it was like she backed for no reason. But since I'm Sylvanas, I can't take Bull Demon, so I get nothing out of that, out of her backing, out of her early backing. Okay, she's gonna Aegis. She should be fine. Yeah, Aegis is pretty good against Sylvanas. It's not great, but it's pretty decent. Might try and pressure her to back farther. Just so that we delay her recall time. Make her lose some more to tower. Okay. Second relic will probably be thorns, even though I'm a magical character, because the build involves demonic plus period mages, which lowers their magic protection by so much that thorns will be doing its its max damage pretty much anyways. Plus, of course, Scotty just does way too much damage to not reflect that. I'm one level ahead. Okay, this is going better than I imagined. This is good. This is good. Oh, let's take the minis. Keep that positive attitude. Alright. It'll be so good if we win this too. Just because Scotty is so strong. 
I've beaten reworked Scotty about two times, and I've fought her about 20 times. And most of those games ended in like five minutes, just because I was like 0 and 6, 0 and 7. So, I do have a pretty good idea of how Scotty is right now. Ooh, she went the other way. I was trying to get, I was a little bit greedy to get that extra auto attack before pulling. Oh, okay. And that clears wave, that's, oof. Just her ice clears wave, that's crazy. Okay, stay together so I can hit you and the dog. Okay, we have full Bancrofts, go for it. I wanted to wait until I was lower health to use Bancrofts to guarantee the kill. It's always riskier to do that, but if all of her cooldowns are down, it's pretty safe. You know, she can't really do any surprises. Plus, her route, her Aegis was down as well. So, I was pretty much in full control of that situation when, once she used all of her cooldowns. Okay. Oh, this is so good. Alright, we need to leave this place immediately after we get blue buff. Please don't kill me for taking this. Please don't kill me. Okay. And we have enough gold for full demonic. Yay. Alright, thorns. Ooh, blink could be good instead, though. Now nah, we'll go thorns. I do enjoy my blink on Savannah's, but if I blink and then she pops Aegis, it's just kind of like, well, she can't really effectively Aegis thorns. She can stop attacking me, but then of course I'll keep attacking her. Oh, she was behind the wall. Does that really clear the wave, her ice? All but two archers, okay. I may have to go for a bull demon, because now I have uh, that auto attack damage to do so. Oh, maybe. Oh, she walked forward, great. I was not expecting that. Great thing about Smalls is you can't body block the autos. So by standing in it, she's just taking damage. Does make the Phoenix target me, but you know. I don't have Spirit of Mages yet. Alright, well we got here's the thing. We got her Aegis, which means next fight we we can kill her. And we also get red buff, although I have to back and then come back for it. Because um I have blue buff right now. So I need to not forget to run straight towards red buff. I could stay for 12 seconds, but I think it's better to just... Well, no, no, no. I won't have... It'll despawn by the time I get back. Well, no, it won't. Either way, I'll just stay. It'll be fine. It's not that long. 10 seconds. Hopefully, she doesn't go for a bull demon right now. Because there would be nothing I could do to prevent that. Like, I could go check, but that would waste so much time. Spirit Mages. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that tier 1. 25 power. We are only one level ahead. Dang. Your middle tower is under attack. Maybe two levels ahead? Huh? Nope. <laughs> All right, her blue buff's about to spawn. We want to take that. I'm going to ward up so that... I don't know if she has a ward directly on Bull Demon or if she has it here. Must be right on Bull Demon. Dang. I didn't know where the ward was. Okay, instead of going for Bull Demon, we'll bait Bull Demon. So we'll start attacking it. Oh, I need to go do not disturb on Discord. Sorry about that. Like, we'll, we'll attack it, but she's going to come over here and then we're going to turn and burn her. Let's get 
Yeah? Okay, that works. She's dead for 30 seconds. That should be enough to push wave. Considering I have Demonic plus Hunter's Blessing. I just need one of my minions to live for the most part. That worked. Yeah, I pro I'll probably get a Telekines. I, I believe Telekines will do one extra damage to Calder, but I'm not sure. I think it's kind of like Mystical Mail, where it will damage it once, and then that's it. So, one auto attack will be two procs. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if anyone's ever tested that. Telekines will damage Calder twice. I imagine... I. My hypothesis would be that it would do one extra tick of damage, and then that's it. I cannot believe we're winning this. Even on my best gods, I lose to Scotty. Actually, oh, she backed up. Yeah, I could have killed her if she stayed. Ooh, if I hit that, that would have been good. We have our Bancrofts up, but she... Her Aegis is coming up, I think. So I'm not going to stay. Like, if she wants to fight me, we could probably take this in Fire, fire Wave. I'm just trying to make friends. Oh. Time to set a trap. Away, fire. Oh, she has Thorns. Okay, run away. Hide behind minions. Alright, she took way too much damage. She can't come, she can't come over here because Fire Minions. And I'm healing up again, so if she comes over here, we can kill her. Alright, nice. Spear of the Mages. I will probably get a Telekines next. I'm not going to sell Hunter's Blessing, though. Hunter's Blessing gives so much damage. 30 extra damage on your auto attacks. It's crazy. You have to have... three. That's, like, what is it? 300 power if you were to have Telekines to be what Hunter's Blessing gives. To your auto attacks, anyways. I mean, obviously, you would have more damage on your auto attacks because power scaling, but yeah. I mean, the Telkine's equivalent. Because Telkine's is only 10%. Okay. Phoenix isn't spawning for a while. We should be fine. That probably just does suck. It's not like the best, worst thing in the world for us, but. Oh. Well, she used that Aegis earlier. I might still be able to kill her. Yeah! Okay, this matchup didn't go at all how I thought. And here's the thing. She built good. Uh, the only thing is that she went Warrior's Blessing Transcendence instead of, like, Warrior's Blessing Blackthorn or Attacker's Blessing Transcendence. Transcendence. I can talk. Uh, so she was kind of a hybrid. So she couldn't one-shot me, but she also wasn't getting one shot at the start. So it was kind of in between. Um, I feel like if she got a text blessing, she would have been shredding me a lot earlier. But hey, I'm I'm very pleasantly surprised, extremely pleasantly surprised. And the best part was that match was relatively short, so people won't know how it ends right away. And there we go. Okay, we're back on Terra for tomorrow. All right. Um, here's the match stats. Terra will be next tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. We are Diamond Three right now. Got 14 TP. Have a good day, everybody.